Here we're going to look at the two different types of wave motion named longitudinal and transverse. It's a fairly basic but quite important concept to understand the difference between these two. So we'll look at transverse first. So here we've got a simple wave sketched out and we can imagine we've got the direction of oscillation coming up and down across the page. So this is the direction that this wave is oscillating. So we go up and down, up and down, up and down. And then we have the direction of motion. So with two waves, they move with waves they move in two directions. There's the direction in which they're actually oscillating and the direction that they're moving. So if you imagine the uh, surface of a pond, you throw a stone in, you get ripples coming out, the surface of the pond moves up and down up and down, but the waves themselves are actually propagating, moving along the surface of the water rather than up and down perpendicular to it. Uh, so in this case, this is what we call a transverse wave because the direction of the oscillation is perpendicular, it's at 90 degrees to the direction of the motion. A longitudinal wave is when we have the direction of motion the same direction as the direction of travel. So uh, here we've got a sketch of a longitudinal wave um, such as sound waves and we might imagine this wave is traveling to the right and we have these compressions and rarefactions. So imagine these lines represent uh, little pressure waves or uh, lines of atoms in the air. Here they're stretched out in the rarefactions. Here they're compressed together at the compressions and so uh, each of these, they just oscillate back and forth a little bit. So these will go back and forth a little bit, these will go back and forth a little bit, and that carries the energy along the wave. So these are oscillating back and forth uh, along, uh, along the page like this, um, but the wave is also traveling along the wave in the same direction. So this is a longitudinal wave because the direction of motion is the same as the direction of the displacement, as the direction of the oscillations. And we can see another example here. So we might have uh, a whole bunch of atoms in a lattice. So this might be in a solid or uh, if you want, this could be taken as a crude model in air. And here you can see we've got the la lambda, uh, the wavelength labeled on. And here the atoms are squeezed together, here they're stretched, they're squeezed together, in between they're stretched apart. So the wave is traveling in this direction. Uh, and the atoms will also oscillate up and down a little bit. So this atom is going to go up that way a bit, and then it'll vibrate that way a bit. This one goes that way a bit, and then it comes this way a bit. This one does the same thing. So in a longitudinal wave, the direction of the displacement, the direction of oscillation, is parallel, is in the same direction as the direction of the wave motion, the wave speed. In a longitudinal wave, these are perpendicular. So we have that the direction of oscillation, the direction of displacement, is perpendicular, so at right angles at 90 degrees, to the direction that the wave is actually moving. 